A projectile is fired from a cliff 200 feet above the water at an inclination of 45 degrees to the horizontal with a muzzle velocity of 55 feet per second. The height h of the projectile above the water is given by h of x equal to negative 32x squared over the square of 55 plus x plus 200, where x is the horizontal distance of the projectile from the face of the cliff. So our two variables are x and h. x is the horizontal distance of the projectile, and h is the height of the projectile above the water. h of x equal to negative 32, and I'm going to write this as negative 32 over 55 squared x squared plus x plus 200 is a quadratic function. The graph would be a parabola. Quadratic functions are in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And parabolas open down when the leading coefficient, in other words, the coefficient on the x squared term, is less than 0, which is what we have here. So this will be a parabola that opens down. That means that the vertex would be a maximum point. So if we find the xy coordinates of the vertex, then the x coordinate of the vertex would be the horizontal distance that corresponds to the maximum height of the projectile. The y-coordinate would correspond to whatever that maximum height is that was reached by the projectile. So we need to find the vertex. There are multiple ways to find the vertex for a parabola. In a case like this, I think I would probably use the formula x-coordinate of the vertex can be found by dividing the opposite of b by 2 times a. b is the coefficient on the linear term, which here is an understood 1. a is the coefficient on the term of highest degree, so negative 32 over the square of 55. So the x-coordinate of the vertex, or in other words, the horizontal distance that corresponds to the maximum height of the projectile would be minus 1 over 2 times negative 32 over the square of 55. We are to round this to the nearest foot, so our approximation then of this horizontal distance would be 47 feet. We could then find the maximum height of the projectile by finding the y-coordinate that corresponds to this x-coordinate. So we would substitute 47 into our function for x. If we round this to the nearest tenth of a foot, we would find that that maximum height would be 223.6 feet. If we were to draw this situation, we would have a cliff, some sort of a device that is shooting a projectile, and then the surface of the water. We're told that this height of the cliff is 200 feet. We could find the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile before it hits the water by substituting zero in for the height. So with our function, we will let h of x equal 0 when the height is 0. And then solve for x, the horizontal distance that corresponds to that height of 0. Since we are asked to estimate this value, we could use a graphing utility to find this value. By graphing the function, negative 32 over the square of 55, x squared plus x plus 200, we could find this point 
where the graph meets the x-axis. The x-coordinate is 193 if we round to the nearest foot. So the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile at the point that it strikes the water would be approximately 193 feet.